So quickly, we'll start with the bolts and not assemble the diagram. So let's start with bolts. In drawing bolts, for the first parameter, you use your diameter. Now, there's no formula for calculating diameter. It has to be given in the question or a substitute formula where you can substitute it and then get it. But you need diameter to solve any problem regarding drawing a bolt. Then we know our thickness, which is the thickness of the bolt head. That is the head of the bolt. This part is equal to 0.8D. Now, you will hear sometimes when people say that it's equal to 0.75D, 0.9D. It's equals to 1d well they are not wrong some textbook tells you 0 0.8 some textbook tells you 0 0.7 some maybe tells 0 0.6 but it's actually making sense if you take the average which is 0 0.8 of these three numbers so we're using 0 0.8 there's a thickness then our length of bolts now there's a range of a length of bolts it's between 3d to 20d that is the length of a bolt should fall within three times diameter to 20 times diameter it must fall within this range and mind you this d here means diameter we have length of the threaded portion this is varying in different diagrams sometimes it can be given but if it's not given use this formula 2d plus 10 millimeter remember all diameter all dimensions are in millimeter Okay, so this is our length of bolts. Now we know that our angle of chamfer, theta, angle of chamfer, is equal to 30 degrees. Okay, basically, this is all we need when we are drawing. Let's look at knots. Now we have different types of knots. We have lock knots, we have different type of knots for the sake of students here in RSU, that is the Versus University, will be using our um, exam-based type of notes so that will be, you'll be seeing your exams. So here, we know the diameter of the so must be given. And our thickness of the knot, that is our knot head to our thickness of the knot is equal to 0 0.8D. I like using thickness to be 0 0.8D, okay? And this is basically what you need to draw a knot. Just, just these two parameters and then and not is good to go and you also know that your chamfer to angle of chamfer is 30 degrees to get to washer now for our length of washer length of washer formula is equal to 2d plus 3 millimeter because sometimes I would like to use 2D plus 4 to make it even, but, but all is to the same thing. <clears throat> Why our thickness of washer is equal to 0.125D. So this is all we need for our washer. Then let's look at lock nuts. This lock nut actually falls in this arena lock nut, other type of nuts too. Then let's look at split pin. Split pin. Oh, exactly, I forgot. Here we also need our width, which is equal to 1.5 D plus 3 millimeter. Okay, all right. So to our split pin, for split pin, we just need one parameter, which is the diameter of split pin. The basic formula is 0 0.12 d, 0 0.12 d, where d is the diameter of the bolt. So guys, this is basically all the formulas you need in calculating bolts and knots, washer, split spin, assembly diagram. Okay, so how <laughs> diameter? But now in this case. There's formula for calculating diameter. Diameter at D is equal to 6 root T. Where T here is the thickness of the main plate. Okay, thickness of the main plate. And there is no formula of actually finding thickness. 
unless you can make it so this formula here just as in both and not there's no faculty in diameter unless you make one of them here so this formula if it's given the question so you have six to three for diameter then we have thickness of um cover plates or cover strap equals to i would denote this as t2 is equals to 0.625 thick, where this T is thickness of the main plate. This applies mostly for butt joints. We are when we are drawing um double cover butt joints, but when I join lap joints, we're just using the normal thickness, not thickness of the cover plates. In lap joint, there is no cover plates, it's just the normal thickness. Okay, so, and most times it's already really giving the question. Then having known this, let's continue. Now we know that margin m. Is equals to 1.5 d where d is diameter distance between two paired rivets is 2 d okay where d here is diameter 2 now we have pitch pitch is equals to 3 d where d is diameter we have the head of rivet that's our rivet head is equals to 1.6 d where d is diameter 2 okay now we have theta, that is the angle of this cover plate. Usually, it's really giving us 15 degrees, but it can fluctuate depending on the question. Now, let me give you a formula that will help guide you while drawing rivets. Now, you know there are two types of um, rivets in for, okay? So, this is for lap, it's for both joints. For, for single riveted, for lap joints, if it's chain, you will see you have to draw one rivet zigzag to one rivet but in both joints you are drawing for chain two rivets where the two are real why zigzag you are also drawing two rivets but one will be real one will be imaginary let's go for double reversing you have two for lap zigzag you also have two for both you have four real for double reversing but see that you have two real, two imaginary. Then it seems to apply here in triple. Three, three. And you have six rivets. Wait, six are real. But in this one, you have three real, three imaginary. These are basic guidelines you need to take or put in consideration while drawing rivets. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I should subscribe to my channel, like this video, and tell me in the comment section what video you want me to upload next. Alright, bye for now.